store? Uh, we were signing up to drive some X3s. Is that what we're riding here, X3s? We've got some Can-Am X3s that we're going to take out into the desert on a, a guided trail run. <laughs> guided, guided a, mis, a misguided trail run. <laughs> Better question is, why are we doing this? Because Kevin and I have discussed the idea of getting a side-by-side -side on and tow, off. Yeah, tow behind the Jeep. For right? a very long time. Tow behind the Jeep and then we can do who does it better, Jeep or side-by-side? -side? Jeep. You think the Jeep? No. Well, it depends what you're doing. Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> so we're going to we're gonna test out some side-by-side. -side. Oh, I got to get a wristband. This is the first one that we're testing is the Can-Am because mm -hmm. it's the one I've wanted kind of the most. So Okay, so we're in the Turbo R, the Rock Crawler Edition, which is what we really wanted. It's what I've been looking at for a long time. So sitting in it, seatbelts are pretty easy. Clip, harness, pull down. It sits kind of low. I'm short, so all I can see is pretty much the roll bar. I can't see anything on the front of this right now. I can pretty much see just past the, the, the roll cage if you show them. You can just, so all I can see is the blue hump in the hood right there, and I can see this roll cage. Other than that, I don't know where the front of my vehicle is. We're gonna go give this a test drive. They won't let us film uh, on the guided tour uh, due to liability reasons, unfortunately. We'll give you guys an idea of what it was like when we get back, I guess. Yeah, um, I mean, everything else seems kind of cool. You dip lock, rocks or trail, uh, sport mode, which I'm gonna leave it in, sport and eco. So far, it's I mean, it's pretty good other than I don't feel comfortable with the front end right now. I can't, my visibility is very The visibility narrow. is a little less than what he would hope so, but we'll see how it drives and we'll go from there and then we'll go try out uh, it's getting kind of dark but we're gonna try to go look at some razors later and maybe the yamahas maybe the yamahas i don't know not, we're not really eh, on I'm that not one not too big of a fan of the yamaha we were looking at the polaris razor they got the new one out the turbo s we um, haven't had a close look at that yet but we're gonna we're gonna check that one out as well because supposedly it's a decent contender so all right you ready all right so here we go i won't tell if you don't tell so far it's a little bit rough on the suspension the washboard and little holes, really choppy. Uh, big whoops, it's fantastic. So it's got tons of power, it's really good. It's instant, but I don't like that when you hit the gas, it's so much power. The rear end squats, the front end lifts up, and it gets real light the front end, and the rear end is squats way too hard to put it. It's like doing a wheelie, and uh, that's not really uh, good for control. So we'll go over all this when uh, we get out of the out of the side by side. We'll give you the cliff notes here in just a second because I have no idea how that audio came out. <laughs> Since it's a completely open thing, uh, I was swapped between the phone and the GoPro, so we'll see how that sounded. Oh, what are you complaining about? <laughs> see, they left me in the Jeep oh, we while did. they went in a side by side. Poor girl. So the X3, <laughs> the X3 looks mean. It's extremely powerful, and it handles at high speed amazingly well. Those are my top three likes. Dislikes, I didn't like how the suspension squat and dove as I hit the brakes and hit the gas. It was kind of doing this, and it got light on one end and light on the other. I didn't like that. The brakes felt very spongy, and then it felt like I ran out of brake. It did stop, but I didn't really like the way it felt. And then I didn't like the seating position. I sat really low. You could only see a quarter of the hood. When you hit the gas, the front end comes off the ground, so you can't see anything anymore. With it squatting like that when you accelerate, it's not exactly the best for control. Either. Right, the, the steering gets light, or when you hit the brakes, the front end gets heavy and the back end gets light. It nose dives um, a little bit. I didn't really care for that too much. Cool vehicle. Uh, I can see why they charge a lot of money for it, but I wouldn't run out and buy one tomorrow. It's still like, I, he, Kevin's not lying, it is it's fast. The it's thing fast. Is, I think it's quick. You put the pedal down and it instantly launches. It wasn't too bad. The only downside is, is we didn't get to actually go rock crawling, and the RC version is more built for rock crawling for both it does everything yeah. but it's more geared towards rock crawling and they won't let us do that they said i'd have to buy one to rock crawl it so i'm not gonna run out to buy one to go rock crawl it but we still haven't tried out the razor yet and we do want to go try out what is it the turbo s the turbo s razor we want to go try that out i think that one's going to suit us better just because the seating position's higher and i've heard that it has this active suspension so when you hit the brakes when it starts to dive it actually forces it back it, like, level like electronically autocorrects. So I'm really excited to see that. because We're going to see if that yeah. makes the ride a little bit smoother because at low speeds over little bitty bumps, the Can-Am was... It was pretty terrible. Uh, super rough. It's at, at high speeds, 
oh my gosh, it's amazing. But yeah, the moment you start to slow down, the little Washboard bumps are- or little divots, oh. little rocks, it literally was- <laughs> <laughs> It was bad. But yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. This is not gonna end well. Hold on, hold on. yesterday that was killing us in the X3 was painful as hell in here it's you don't feel anything it feels like you were hitting but we were hitting the whoops yesterday this is so smooth if I go to firm it goes back to how it felt yesterday in the X3 so we're gonna leave it in comfort for right now but once we hammer it up once we start hammering on it we'll go to sport and see what it'll do but the cool thing so this is dynamic suspension so supposedly it gives off something like 200 different inputs per second while you're driving. So Polaris actually gave us a personal scout to take us out to an area called Disneyland, which is basically like a tiny little goalie with a bunch of back and forth high kind of bank turns and stuff that we can really put this thing to the test. But just driving out here, significantly more comfortable. And Kevin was saying, I don't know if you could hear the audio, but his visibility, because you sit up higher, you can actually see uh, everything that's in front of you. And he took off a couple times and it doesn't squat 
like the X3 was either. So it just shoots and goes. It, you hit the gas, it does a little squat, it levels out, and that, it's gone. That dynamic suspension so far is freaking awesome, both comfort-wise and performance-wise. Brakes are a lot more linear. There's actual pedal feel the whole way. Uh, digging that too. All right, let's go. And it has GPS, which is also awesome. crap this thing is so nimble it's a little bit shorter wheelbase i think at least it feels a little bit shorter wheelbase it's just super nimble it's like a little go-kart with 170 horsepower <laughs> all right kevin initial thoughts okay <laughs> that was a freaking blast this thing and the can-am are completely different so this one you sit in it you're instantly on top it's like a big kids go-kart on steroids <laughs> the can-am you're sitting in it you're sitting low it's a little bit longer it feels more like a big body saloon like high horsepower v8 kind of car you're sitting down in it like a mustang it's low, or like, something like a mustang or like a yeah you're just kind of sitting down in it it's a big cock a bigger cockpit it's longer this reminded me more of my evo i had 450 horsepower all-wheel drive evo you sit high the steering's great the brakes are great the power's there if you didn't tell me it had a turbo i, I wouldn't believe you like the, there's other than no it, lag it, it just instantly hits you hit the throttle it's full power instantly low more low end torque more, more mid-range basically okay so let's go over I, i'm excited sorry i'm excited about this one. <laughs> this one was literally just like bah, 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 bah. i mean i was just you it literally like brings out the freaking kid in you i know i act like a kid anyway but i am an adult so all right. sometimes all right so all right. let's let's do a more concise likes. <laughs> i know i'm rambling no, no, but okay. this is fun no, let's do a, let's do a concise likes versus okay. dislikes just like we did with the, the x3. x3 okay likes instantly you get in you sit down and you're sitting up high that's the visibility was probably my biggest like comparing it to the x3 i sit in it i can see everything visibility so number one like second if i had it am i going in order does it or does it matter you no, just, just in likes. general just oh, in general so it's not in the one two three like no. top okay the dynamic active suspension so comfort mode literally means comfort they're not joking it's not a gimmick it is comfortable all the way up to firm it will jar the teeth, the, like your teeth out if you're on those same little, uh, like we were yesterday, the Can-Am. The first thing we noticed, it was terrible at slow speeds. But the suspension and the power together, you, you mash the gas, it doesn't squat and pull the tires off the ground. It just goes, it absorbs it, sits flat and goes. Same thing with the brakes. You hit the brakes, it doesn't nosedive. All right, lastly, the really, really cool thing about this, 32 inch tall tires. The Jeep came with 33s from the factory. The Rubicon came with 33s. I think everybody else is at 29 and 30. The steering, both of them were just lightweight. I, I wanted I wanted more feedback. I wanted a little heavier when I'm going super fast because these things have like 170 horse. Having a light wheel, I it's just not my preference. I wanted something stiffer. That seems to be kind of a yeah, the Can-Am had the same thing. I a hate. thing with all side-by-sides, yeah, though, so I didn't far. like the steering feel at all. I wish they would add some weight to it, add some feedback and at weight to it. At least as you start going faster. Right. At low speed, yeah, you want, yeah, of course. What's your other dislikes? My other dislike is... Uh, Do you have other dislikes? No. <laughs> uh, no, sir. Uh, I, don't, I, I dislike that you can't hear the turbo. You want to hear mean, turbo noises? I want turbo noises, so I don't know how we can do that, but I want some, if that's possible. So no other dislikes, then? No. So basically what he's saying is that if we were to get a side-by-side, -side, Polaris is probably the one we'd go with, the Turbo S. Oh, uh, hands down. It's a go-kart. It's a go-kart with on crack. <laughs> Once we got back from that ride, and again, they were awesome enough to have a scout lead us out to one of the coolest areas to ride a side-by-side -side around in, which is called Disneyland again. But once we got back, we started talking to him a little bit about pricing and, you know, kind of upgrades and stuff like that to see how we could technically outfit this and if we could fit it into our budget and whatnot. Turns out, one of the guys that is here over at the Players Tent is actually a subscriber of ours, and he was ever so kind enough 
to lend us one yeah, for dude. the day so we could Thanks. really get a feel for whether or not we want one of these bad so boys. So what's going on is we have to have Stepchild at the, the Baja, Baja Designs, Designs booth all day, which we have to get it over there here shortly. And so he's like, well, how are you going to get around? I'm like, well, I don't know. He's like, well, go play around with it. Make sure it's really what you want. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. So before we go drop off the stepchild, we're going to go do, drive it, <laughs> drive it like a rental. I mean, yeah. I guess maybe. Well, we go do some crazy stuff. Guys, for real though, we, we really want to know what your thoughts are here. So let us know in the comments what you think, both and just us getting a side by side in general, but also what you think between the Razor Turbo S and the X3 RC Turbo R that we drove yesterday. So we're actually curious what you guys think. They're very and comparable. What They're both the, the 72 wide, the 170 horse. Yeah, this yeah. one makes 168. The other one makes 172, 172. so four off. The um, other one has 30 inch tires. This one has 32s. 32s. This uh, one else? has the dynamic suspension, which is, oh, God. It was, it oh, was my this one part. actually has three pot brakes. The other one's just a two. So anyways, yeah, let us know what you think. In the meantime, we're going to do more cool stuff. be a thing. We might really have to get ourselves a side-by-side. -side. That was awesome! Jelly! Where's he going? Where's your stick? Get your stick. Get the stick. Did you get the stick? Good girl. Okay, so the stepchild is sitting nice and neat. Well, not neat because it's dirty AF, but it's sitting at the Baja Designs booth back at Hammertown and we can't actually pull it out of the booth until this evening because there's rules and whatnot. So while it's sitting there, we figured we'd go test out the Polaris Razor, right? I mean, that's what they, they well, lent it to us hold for. On. Hold on, Bleep and Jeep came by. And this is where out of the three full hours of footage I recorded for this video, my mic decided to cut out. So this is me introducing Nate from Bleeping Jeep, and of course on the far end was Busted Knuckle. And more or less, this is just us discussing how Polaris didn't technically say we couldn't take their side-by-side -side rock crawling. So, I mean, by default, we should be allowed to, right? So we're, we were discussing the pros and cons of it, but like I said, they didn't say we couldn't. And this is Kevin telling us that technically all they did was give us the keys and said we had to have it back by five o'clock. So yeah, I'd say by default, they didn't give us any other guidelines. So we decided we were gonna take the side-by-side -side up the trail known as Turkey Claw, along with Nate and Matt from Bleeping Jeep, and of course the guys over at Busted Knuckle. Kevin, you ready? I'm ready, this is completely different than the Jeep for sure. <laughs> uh, throttle, you gotta be, uh, that was a little different. <laughs> For the record, Kevin has never wheeled or a side by side. Or really, to this this event is the first time we've ever driven side by side. So, and we were given no pointers before we left. So we're gonna figure this out real quick. So what do I do? He's caught up on his diff. So what line do I need to take? I would try to put your passenger side on the big rock that he caught his diff on. You're you're very low to the ground, so you're just gonna have to be cognizant. Like a, it's more like a playground of just fun with this thing. You have this false sense of security that you want to just roll it off a mountain and you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd cut my way a little bit more. Oh my god. You, you 
can't easy it, can you? No. Yeah, don't take routes that'll get you too tippy because I don't know what the tipping angle kind of is in this yet. I don't completely know how to spot you yet. Two foot it like brake and throttle or it just it's oh it's I probably forward or back I probably I probably could um it's just the way the transmission and everything works together it's a it's CVT a, right yeah yeah I mean thirty but it's no, doing the great two inches and of course are doing, of course you don't have the flex I mean, so it's it, making it up it with all these full size drinks so that's kind of cool no this is super awesome it, it's literally like putting a go kart in with like Formula One cars. <laughs> Um, can you show me where I can go? I'm gonna have to like hit it. It's probably kind of hard. What are you doing? Can I just hit the gas right where I'm at? Yeah. Just be careful because when this wheel pops up onto this, I'm not quite sure what it's gonna do. If you hit it, it's
Raining. To watch that one. Yeah, it just started, <laughs> it just started raining. Started so raining and it got cold. Amazing. In the meantime, though, be sure to let us know in the comments again what you guys think of the side by sides and Kevin get and I side getting by side. one. We're getting the side by side. Oh, <laughs> let us know, know what you think know. in the comments. If you think we should get a side by side, and if so, which one? But as always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget oh, oh, to like, oh. subscribe, and share. Oh, and we'll see, see you next, next time. time. Bye. Later, guys. Peace. Mwah. chase side by sides if we're gonna get one you can't chase side by sides but you can't chase this stick ready okay. oh he's a good girl <laughs> <laughs>